everybody and welcome back to my kitchen where Carla is cooking. Guys, today I'm going to show you what I've purchased at Trader Joe's for the week. I've got a couple meals, I've got a yummy little breakfast idea, um, and then I've just got some staples. I've got some new items, some returning items, maybe just some items that you've never seen before. So let's go ahead and get started. Audio jungle. Alright guys. I'm gonna go ahead and start with this brown bag right here, okay? Um, well, like I said, not everything's gonna be exciting, but this is one of my favorite chopped salads. I forget how we say it, champs de something like that. It's green leaf lettuce, frisee, radicchio, and carrots. So uh, it's not organic, it's triple wash. So this is one of my go-to. So I plan on having a few salads this week. So we've got that guy there. For my salad, I've got some cucumber. Um, I've got some Terra Terra oranges. Guys, it is citrus season. And so we've got heirloom, stem and leaf, we've got mandarins, we've got blood oranges, and the Cara Cara. Cara Cara, Cara Cara, I'm not sure, but they are delicious. Naval oranges, $3.99, guys, from, uh, from the store. So really, really good. All right, I've got two cans of my non-dairy coconut whip every single day. Every day, this goes in my coffee. I'm trying to get away from the sugar in the coffee, um, but this just adds a little bit. It's non-dairy, and I love coconut. So it also goes on top of my fruit, like for dessert. So um, that's my coconut whip topping. All right, uh, I've got just a basic Sauvignon Blanc with Valentine's Day coming up. Um, a French one, if you've never tried, I think it's six forty nine. It has a screw cap, which, which is always a plus for me. Um, a little citrusy, grapefruity, but really good. So I enjoy this one. So um, I've got a bottle of wine. This is brand new. I was just able to try it today in the break room. So this is uh, to the power of seven red, um, organic, or, yeah, organic, yeah, everything's organic. So cranberry, beets, uh, apple, and some watermelon. So I don't drink a ton of juice, but I do like to use some juices for mixers. So again, with some things coming up this weekend, I thought this might go great with this. You guys, this is a new item. I really don't know if this is just um, a, a, like a hot buy for us, if it's limited, or if this is gonna be a brand new Prosecco at the store. I am told this is an outstanding Prosecco. It's $9.99. So Prosecco is sparkling wine, Italian, and so there you go. So I had to try it. I love the bottle. If you're having a baby shower and you know it's a boy, I thought that was super cute too. So there is that. Oh. And then I've got just a red onion. I'm gonna put that right in my um, my vegetable bowl because that is for my salads as well. All right, guys, look at this bag. This bag is huge and heavy. And so I can't wait to show you what goodies I've got in here. All right, so first of all, again, just veggies. I'm trying to eat more. So I'm gonna meal prep, I'm gonna wash, I'm gonna cut them up, have them all sliced up in there and um, I'll just eat them straight up. I'll dip them in my favorite dressing, which is this, a buttermilk ranch dressing. Uh, really, really like this guy. It's not overly thick. You find it in the refrigerated section where you find all the salads and the produce. So I do do like this guy. Um, got my Brussels sprouts because again, I'm trying to eat more of those. People ask me all the time at the register, how do you cook your Brussels sprouts? Well, I rinse them, I cut them in half, let them soak in water for just maybe 15 minutes. Don't have to do that, but it was uh, suggested to me, I guess it's called blanching. And so it kind of keeps the inside a little more tender. So when you're cooking it, you don't have to cook and cook and cook. Everything's cooked together, the inside, the outside. So anyways, that's what I do. I cut them in half, I let them soak for just a bit. Sometimes I just rinse them if I don't have time. You can air fry them. My favorite way is to put them on high heat. Um, just for about five minutes on the um, stove top, get a nice little charring on them, and then I lower the heat, I add a little bit of broth, and put a lid on it, and I just steam the heck out of the Brussels sprouts. Salt, pepper, olive oil, that's all you gotta do with that. Love, love, love. Another veggie I love, love, love. Uh, you've seen me make them in the air fryer. This is one of my favorites. My friend Sandy told me about these at the store. Butternut zigzag uh, squash. Put them right in the air fryer. 
it tastes like a sweet potato fry. So this is my fake out fry. Salt, pepper, olive oil, uh, again. All right, ooh, one of my meals, you guys, I'm gonna do this week. So, okay, these, this is the tri-color, uh, tri-pack of um, colored peppers at the store. And so I stocked them today. They were huge, so I bought them. That's when I get inspired with the meals. So I saw them, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make two peppers, I'll have them in the fridge for dinner, for lunch, they're awesome reheated, and then I'll use another one of the peppers for like a salad or a stir fry or maybe some scrambled eggs, something like that. But they, they were just gorgeous. And stay tuned for that video because I'm gonna show you how I do my super silly, quick stuffed peppers. You're not gonna wanna miss that. So hit the subscribe button because you don't wanna miss any of my videos, right? All right, uh, I'm gonna stuff the peppers with ground turkey. I, I went with a pretty lean one, 97.3, uh, or no, I'm sorry, 93.7% uh, for uh, leanness. You could do ground turkey, you could do ground chicken, you could do beef, you could go totally meatless if you would like and just stuff it with a little bit of um, like red sauce and some rice. But I'm gonna use this. I absolutely love this product. It's a riced cauliflower stir fry. So it's not just um, cauliflower that resembles rice, but it's got some peas, sesame oil, onion, grilled onion, red pepper, uh, tamari sauce, uh, onions. And so it's just a nice little combo. And I don't mind a little veg in my stuffed pepper. So um, super, super easy meal. And again, stay tuned for that video. All right, I always get myself a jar of this pretty much every time I shop because I never know when I'm gonna need a jar. It's under $2, I don't I think it's dollar seventy nine eighty nine dollars something like that. But I'm gonna use this um, for, for my um, red pepper mixture. And then I always like to have a half a jar in the fridge because you never know when you might need some pasta sauce. Um, so, days of me going homemade on my sauce, guys, is far and few between. So, take a little help from the food store. It just helps these meals come together. Um, all right, I got a sweet onion for salads, for sauteing, whatever else. I got a lime for my cocktail, and I got a lemon because you just never know. And uh, meal number two here. So, I'm going to do my stuffed peppers, and then I'm going to do a pork tenderloin. So this is gonna be, let's talk about this first. This is gonna be the side dish. Cauliflower gnocchi. Absolutely love it. It resembles pasta when I get a pasta fix. Of course I can eat pasta, but when I'm trying to kind of change it up a bit, I'll go with this one. You can put red sauce off of it. I do it right in the frying pan. I saute it up with, again, salt, pepper, olive oil, you could throw spinach in that. I know customers have told me about that. You can really do a lot of different things with this product. It's in the frozen section. Um, and then this is gonna be my side dish for my pork tenderloin. I know you've seen me use my pork tenderloins from Trader Joe's a couple times over now. Um, here's why I like them. A, they're affordable. B, they have many selection, lots of selection. Um, different sizes, different, um, you know, crate free or um, plain. You can marinate your own or put your own rub. This one is marinated. I usually just go for this one. Peppercorn and garlic, quick cooking. So this is my $6 meal. I can throw it in the air fryer. I could do it in the oven, most likely air fryer. I like to do that. So this is meal number two. And then, ooh, we're coming down to my breakfast. Now, this is not a new idea, but I'm a little late to the party on this. And it's super, super easy to make your own overnight oats. So you can buy them. We sell them pre-made. I totally get it, right? Sometimes we're in a pinch. But if you do have just a little bit of extra time uh, right before you go to bed, you get a little Tupperware and stay tuned for this video because I'm gonna show you my oats. They come out really, really nicely. And these are some of the staple products that I use. So first and foremost, you need the oats. These are amazing, you guys. I think they're $4.49, something like that. They're gluten-free. It's the organic rolled oats. It has chia seed, hemp seed, um, ground flax seed, quinoa, and another one that I can't pronounce but it's got everything in there, guys. If you wanna add a little extra protein, add another tablespoon or two of hemp seed. We sell those too. So these are gonna be your oats, your liquid. You could do whatever you want. You could go dairy, you could do non-dairy. Today I selected 
Um, my coconut milk, coconut milk, coconut beverage, same thing. Customers ask all the time, what's the difference between milk and beverage? It's just semantics. So uh, we don't put milk on there because we don't want to confuse the heck out of you. It's um, uh, it's not milk, right? But it is uh, coconut milk, but non-dairy. Okay, you get the point. All right, so this guy, sometimes I'll use in my coffee, but you could use oat milk, you could use coconut milk, you could use almond milk. Uh, God, there's, you could use soy milk. I mean, whatever, you could use real milk, whatever you want to use. Um, so I, I like this guy. Keep him on hand after you use it. He goes in the fridge. And then this is another one of my favorites because it's unsweetened. Um, it's almond cashew and macadamia nut beverage. Again, it's lactose free. Sometimes I put it in my coffee, but otherwise I do use it for my overnight oats. And remember to stay tuned for that video because there's so many different variations that you could do with the oats. So um, you could do fresh fruit. You could do in the morning after the oats are complete, you can throw berries in there. Um, I like to throw some unsweetened uh, coconut shreds from Trader Joe's, just about a quarter cup in there. And then also I use this as dessert. So I'll do like maybe a bowl of fresh fruit, some berries with some coconut and my non-dairy um, whip. So I totally love that. I also like to throw some nuts in my overnight oats, like chopped almonds, walnuts, or pecans. But anyways, guys, that was my, um, that's my haul. I've got a couple dinners in there. I've got salads and vegetables for another couple meals. I've got a couple cocktails that I'm going to experiment with. So that's going to be fun and just some staples. So there you go. That's what's in my pantry and I'll see you back in my kitchen.